Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks so much for watching Brent Speed TV. Today, it's a 19 GT. We're gonna watch a dyno pull. Roush 2650. This baby lays down over 800 roll horsepower. We're gonna tell you how we got there. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, notify us safe today. I've dug with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're gonna go down and take a look. I will put links to all these parts in the description. As I go over them, you might have more questions. You can just open it up, click on them. And of course, you email quote at brentspeed.com. Hey, what's that cost to get installed? Doug, take a look. So it's the Roush TVS 2650. We did put a smaller pulley on this bad boy. So it's got the 27 pulley. We will look at the boost on this. It does peak a little over 14 PSI. Set of stainless power, long tube headers, E85. So we got the four return style dual pump system. And a set of ID1050 injectors. McLeod RXT clutch and a DSS drive shaft. That's pretty much the combo right there, but we do have cooling mods. So we have our big Adler radiator, rear cylinder head cooling kit, and Billa oil pump gears as well. So it's a pretty sweet combo, laying down lots of power. Check out this dyno pull. Okay, this is a pretty cool car, so when we're done, we'll go back and take a look at it. Dynojet SAE Smoothing 5. Remember, E85, 830 roll horse, peaking at right about 7,300 RPM. Torque comes in, 727, 728, 4,500. Boost peaks at 14.4, but it's really about 13.5-ish across the board, and then taps that 14.4 right at redline. But awesome numbers for the old Roush 2650. So this car was white. It's been wrapped in black. Pretty cool. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Happy to answer. And we keep these superchargers in stock. Pretty much everything from all the accessories we added, including exhaust, all that's in stock as well. We can ship it right to your door. Again, links in the description. Leave that comment. I'll answer. Thanks for watching.